said, what's up? So do you think this is a type of language that you can use with strange people or with people that are really close to you? I think using a phrase like what's up is only used with people that are really close to you, like family and friends. This type of language is called informal language. Informal language. Okay, is there any other type? Yes, there is other type. The other type of language is called formal language. So now we have two types of language. The informal and formal language. So, as we said that the informal language we use it with our friends, family, colleagues, classmates. It's, you, you would feel that you are more relaxed when you talk with your family or with any one of your friends. Okay, so the formal language is used with teachers and people that you don't really know well. Strange people, you know. So what is the difference? How can we differentiate between this and that? Here, when we are more relaxed, we can say, for example, what's up? How is it going? How are you doing? But here, in the formal language, we can say, how are you? We're being more serious. And here we can use some words in the informal language, like cool, awesome. But do you think we can say or write cool or awesome in a formal letter, for example? I don't think so. So what words can we use? We can use fine or great. So as, as written here, we are being serious. Here, in the informal language, we use the contractions. What are contractions? Contractions are like these words. Here, you can say didn't, haven't, couldn't, can't. But here, in the formal language, whether we say or write, you cannot use didn't, haven't, couldn't. No contractions. You can say did not, cannot, have not, could not. And here, in the informal language, we can use the phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs are exactly the same by these, these verbs. For example, here, we have the phrasal verb find out. The phrasal verb is a verb plus a preposition. A verb plus a preposition. So here we have phrasal verbs. You can say, for example, mm -hmm, I need to find out a solution for my problem. Here I need to discover what I need to do for my problem. Here I can say go up. For example, like for example, I can say prices might go up. In the formal language, I cannot say go up or I cannot use this phrasal verb. So I can say increase instead. For example, I can say prices increase. Here, go up, here, increase. So in general, we do not use the phrasal verb in the formal language, but we can really use it in the informal. Here, the exclamation mark. We can use it in the informal language, but we can show and express your feeling like you get surprised, for example. But here, you cannot show your feelings because we say that we are being serious. So now, let's apply this and I want you please to open your book, your grammar book, and let's try out some exercises. So please open your books, your grammar book on page uh, 15. Okay, so let's read the first sentence. Here, what we need to do is to read each sentence and write formal language or informal language in the blank. Letter A, come on in. What do you think? Come on in. It's informal. Could you please close the door? Could you please close the door? I think it's formal. My name is Gina. I'm introducing myself. I say my name is Gina. So definitely this is formal language. This book is awesome. Remember? Remember when we said that some words that we can use in the informal language? 
like awesome. So, this is informal language. Buddy or man, you're wrong about him. So, I think huh, informal language. Good afternoon, Miss Loretta. Formal. Will you be going with us? Like, are you going to be with are you are you going are you going to be with us? You going with us or not? So this is formal language. No, thank you. Formal. They call me Nancy. Like my nickname is Nancy. So do you think um, I can say my name is Nancy, uh, or I can say they call me Nancy if I'm being informal? I think I should say. They call me Nancy, like my nickname. Um, okay. Jane. Yes, I will get that for you now. So this is formal language. Welcome, please have a seat. This is formal language as well. So now, I would like you to open your booklets, please. Um, in the formal and informal language page. So here, what we need to do is to read each sentence and label it whether it's formal or informal, like what we exactly did in the book. Can you pass the potatoes, please? What do you think? Huh? What do you think? Formal. I'm having a very good day today. Formal. Yo, look at the zebra in the cage. Huh? Exclamation mark. And that's yo. What do you think? Informal. Your hair looks nice today. Formal. That movie was awesome. I think you all know. Informal. Dude, where is my car? Dude, like man, like you. Informal. Are you going to dinner tonight? Formal. Well, just a normal question. Good morning, my name is Jim. I'm just introducing myself, so this is definitely formal. Hey, you hear me? If you look at this question, you will find that it's missing something. Hey, do you hear me? But in the informal language, you can just om it and cancel one of the words. Like, do you hear me? So you can say, do you hear me? So definitely this is informal. Morning, sir. Nice to see ya. Do you see see ya? It's originally see you. So, as I said, you see, it's abbreviated. What do you think? Informal. Number 11. Thank you for your help. It really sounds formal. Yeah? Number 12. Take a seat, please. Very formal. <laughs> okay. Question 9. The following T chart shows the informal and formal language of the same sentence. Underline the informal one. So here what we need to do is to underline the informal one. Here. Thank you for your help. Thanks for your help. Do you remember the contractions? Thank you. Thanks. So which one is informal? Thanks for your help. Because we contracted the word. I need to leave now. I need to cut out. As can you see, cut out, it's a phrasal verb. So where do we use the, the phrasal verb in the informal or formal? Informal. So here we need to underline this phrase. So now, after we have finished this, your homework is gonna be, is gonna, it's an informal language, yeah? The teacher speaks in an informal language and you speak in formal language because you have to respect me. <laughs> okay. This page is going to be your homework, okay, the next page. Thank you for this.